Good morning, everybody. This is Terry Shenfield from a and Respiratory Lectures. I wanted to create a short video telling you exactly what you need to do to take online education courses. You know our website has a variety of courses on it, such as webinar classes, and which are live every two weeks. And we also do online education, which is passive education, meaning everything's approved by the American Association of Respiratory Care. But if you wanted to do online education at your own pace, this is the way to go. So I wanted to walk you through the process so you really understand how it works. So what you need to do first is visit our website. Our website is www.atrespiratorylectures.com. It's not antrespiratorylectures.com. That's the name of our company. So if you want to go visit our website, which you got to do, it's www.atrespiratorylectures.com. Once you get to the website, this is what you're going to see right in front of you. This is our website. And I want you to pay attention to some tabs on the top. If you're doing this by cell phone, it's going to be a different way of looking at it. But this particular version is a desktop or a laptop or a tablet. And this is what it looks like. So, for example, when you look at it, you got the home field, you got unlimited CEUs, you got free CEUs, you got webinar, destination conference, online education, which is this video is about. And we also have more, more pages and so on. So the first thing and the most important thing you got to do, obviously, you need to create an account on our website. So you visit our website and then let's assume you created an account. And if you didn't create an account, all you need to do is go to our website, go to login, right? And then when you're login, you're going to see this page right here. I have an account, so I'm going to show you how it works for me. So I'm going to put in my username and password, and I'm going to log in. I want you to pay attention when I log in. Look on the upper right-hand side, it says log in register. When I hit sign in, notice that it changed to my account. Everything looks the same, but it, now it says my account. This is very, very important because if you're not logged in, nothing else will work. For example, if you go to your bank, online banking, and you're trying to transfer funds or you're trying to look at your checking account and you don't log in, even though you could be at the website, you can't see nothing. The same thing with our company. You need to log in. So you visit our website and you, you put your username and password in. And if you don't have a username and password, you create one and make sure once you're logged in, you see the word my account. You see it on the upper right hand corner. While I'm here, I want to just show you something. If I go to my account and then I go to profile, right? I, if you notice under profile, I have um, what is known, let me just see, see my profile right here, Taryn Shenfield, that's me. If I go to edit, I could in, you know, change things, but never change your username. But what's really important, you notice how I have AARC number right here, that my number, 9118979. If you're a member, make sure you put your number there. If you're not a member, put the letters NA for non-applicable. NA, but if you leave it blank and it's and and this is your profile, nothing else, you will not see your stuff on the AARC transcript. You don't need to be a member, you know, that's not required. But if you are a member and you want to see your CEUs on the AARC's transcript, make sure you put your number. So that's one thing. Another thing I want to show you while I'm on this page, you see the word. Once you complete your certificates and you want to print your certificate, if you go to the certificate tab right here, which is under my profile, oh, it's loading, you notice that I got a bunch of certificates. What I want you to pay attention to is I got three different levels of certificate. On the left-hand side, I got webinars. On the middle, I got online education. And on the conferences, I got that. So all of your live webinar certificates will appear on the webinars. But if you do online courses, 
you have to click on the online courses. You can't see online courses in the webinar courses. And if you join us at one of our live conferences in Jamaica or no matter Punta Cana, wherever we go, it'll be under conferences. So remember, there are three categories of certificates. One is webinars, which we do live. The next one is online education, which you do passively and so on. I needed to just show you that stuff so you get a better feel for everything. So, but this lecture right here, this little educational thing is about how to do online education. So what you need to do is you need to log in, you need to see the word, my account. Once you see the word, my account, you make sure your profile's all set up. And if it's set up once, you don't have to worry about it. Then you go to online education because we're talking about online education. You go to online education. This is my online education page, right? And on the top right here, you're gonna have the YouTube link to this video. Obviously you're here right now, but I want you to pay attention that in my online education tab, we got various categories. We got adult critical care specialists. We have asthma lectures. We have COVID lectures. We have mechanical ventilation lectures. We have medical ethics lectures. We have neonatal pediatric. We have patient safety lectures. We have pulmonary function lectures. We even have sleep lectures. We're gonna be doing a bunch of stuff. Under each category, you have a bunch of different topics. So let's say, for example, I want to take a course on uh, medical ethics. So I click on medical ethics. Now it goes in. Now, how to sign up for this class, you see this course right up here, Professionalism in Ethics in Medicine, part one. You just click sign up. Now you're signed in already. If you're a subscription page, if you are a subscription member that you pay $99 for one year, you don't have to pay for this. This is all free. This is good for one year. So you could just hit sign up. But if you're not a member, you're going to have to pay $10. So you go sign up. Now, this is where I really want you to go here. If you want to take this course, all you need to do is click this button on this left-hand side that says, take this course. So watch what happens when I click it. It says, you are a subscribed user. Do you want to register for this webinar? Now, I am a subscribed user, obviously. If you are, all you do is do this process. If you're not, you just got to pay the $10. So you hit OK. OK, you're, now it's already it's loaded. Notice now it says, are you ready for the quiz? That means that there is a short, 10, there's a short quiz on this. And it's really, you got to get 70% to pass. And you could take this test as many times as you want. But the question is, where do you get the material? Where do you study for this material for this quiz? And the answer is on the right-hand side right here. Notice it has the word course and it has the word materials. It's not course materials. It's two different tabs. Under the material tab, you will have a PDF of each presentation that you could download and print. If I click on that, it would download. I'm not gonna do it now, but if you click on that, you could download it and print it and you could review it. All the test questions come from the PDFs and the PowerPoints. So there's two ways of doing it, or you could mix them up both. One, you could go right to the materials tab and download the PDFs and study the PDFs. The next option is to click the course field. If you look at the course field, it gives you a bunch of blurb about exactly what this is. This is a two, two AARC course. This is on um, medical ethics. Uh, these are the two topics. One topic is here. One topic is here. This is two separate topics for a total of two CUs. The most important thing you need to know is that under each topic that there was this title of courses, you will have a hyperlink. You see this, watch the video for this course. You see how it highlights? That is a YouTube video on this particular course, when diagnosis diagnosis becomes unaffordable. You can watch the YouTube video. It has the same content as the PDF that you saw in the materials section. And this is the other YouTube video for this particular course. So this particular course will give you two CEUs with a simple post-test. And when you're ready for the post-test, all you need to do is click on, are you ready for this quiz? You click on it. 
and then you're going to get a bunch of questions and then you've got to answer the questions appropriately. That is how it's done. That is how our online education works. You got to pass the test. You can take the test as many times as you want. Um, and, but you need to know the material. Where is the answers for the questions? The answers for the questions are in the PDFs or it could be in a YouTube video, but it's not like one or the other. The YouTube video and the PDFs are exactly the same and all the test questions come exactly from the, PD, the PDF. All right, guys. And also, you know, it's pretty easy and I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, you definitely uh, get back to me and I'll be more than happy just to help you. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this Zoom and stop recording.